what will Wales do this weekend? Will they have the ability to upset this gargantuan French team? We'll find out. Hello, amateurs, and welcome back to our Six Nations series. And I'll be with you throughout the championship and beyond. So hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future episodes. Today, I'm going to be looking at what I think the Wales team will be selected to face France this coming Sunday. Uh, let's start with where they came from, though. Last out, time out against Ireland. I thought Wales had so many promising facets to their game, in particular the patience and the detail in their defence was really outstanding and frustrated Ireland for long, long periods. They managed to fight their way back into the game early second half with some fairly straightforward kind of phase play. They're not challenging themselves a huge amount on attack at the moment, but they're trying to keep the ball is the way I see it. Will they be able to do that this Saturday? Sunday, excuse me. Uh, in any case, Alco and myself uh, looked at that game against Ireland in great detail. I'll link it up there for you to go and check out if you want to. Squad updates. As far as I can tell, I have not seen any. So I'm assuming it's the same, same. Nothing on the Welsh Rugby website. And I didn't pick up anything on Twitter. So excuse me if I missed anything, but I think it's the same. Okay, let's start with the forwards and the players that I think will keep their places from the last time out. Going through here, Gareth Thomas, I think, had a really good Good championship, solid in the scrum and some excellent tackling. Elite D at Hooker has, has had great arrows. He's had a good, strong uh, championship as well. Daft Jenkins, obviously, the captain and a really settled back row now, it looks to me, with Wainwright, Reffle and Mann outstanding in every game so far. Question marks I have are in three and five. And it's, it's really specifically against... You know, what do you do against this huge French team? Do you try and match them? Do you try and get some muscle in there, some extra weight yourselves? Or do you try and run them around? So I, I feel like Dylan Lewis came on against Ireland and really sorted the scrum out. I felt Wales' scrum was much better when he was on the pitch. So there's definitely a case for him to start in this game. And then also, Will Rowlands is a bigger, heavier second row than Adam Beard. So again, do you want to try and just hold that huge French pack up to start off with and match bulk with bulk? Those are the questions, I think, that Warren Gatlin will be trying to answer. And this is what I think. I think Lewis comes back in. As I said, Scrum went way better when he was on the pitch. And again, I think if I was coaching, I would want to try and match that weight, certainly in the early stages. If you get blown away at the start of a game physically, then it's very difficult to get back into it. So that's why I think Wales are doing the forwards. Moving on to the backs. And I think we're getting very close now to Wales, knowing exactly what their best backline is that's available at the moment. All these guys have played well throughout the championship. My only question is Josh Adams. Now, I'm a huge Josh Adams fan. I loved him when he was coming through at Worcester all those years ago. So whenever I sort of talk about players, I always sort of think about them compared to their you know, their highs, where they've really been. And Josh Adams at his best is, a, is one of the best wingers in the world, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think he's been playing at that level during this championship. He hasn't played badly, but I don't think he's been at that level. I wonder whether, you know, you want to throw a bit of excitement in there, get Mason Grady in there. He's been electric this season in, in domestic rugby. Could be an option. Could be an option to just try that um, for Wales. And yeah, that's what I'd do. I think Adams would be the safe choice um, and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't disagree with it, but I would be picking Grady, go out there, try and get something going against the French, try and dent their confidence. And I think Grady would be the person to do that. Okay, onto the bench here. And essentially it's, it's the same really with all the, just the three players that I've swapped into the first 15 coming onto the bench. Wow. I think it looks like a very strong bench and they can come on and make a difference in the game. I don't see any reason for anybody outside of that squad to come in. I think Wales, with the you know where they've been, where they're coming from, they want to get this consistency in selection. They want to get this cohesion and this feeling of real team and group. So I would keep the 23 players the same. OK, what do we want to see from this Welsh team? I want to see them keep the ball on the pitch for as long as possible. I want them to do everything at really high tempo, try and run this French pack around. There's been examples all over the place recently of these French forwards really struggling when there's been high ball in play minutes. 
So tire them out, see if you can get through them, get them to slow down. And then hopefully for Wales anyway, really reap the benefits of that later in the game when they'll be playing at a million miles an hour. That's what I think. But what do you think at home? Do you think this is the right team to go out and beat France? Do you think this is the team that Gatlin's going to select? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll join you there for a friendly conversation. Give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind while you're down there. And you can hit subscribe there. You can watch that one next. And do not forget to get out and play.